Hi, if you're anything like me, you've probably got about 15 different hats that you wear on a daily basis and you are juggling everybody else's stuff too. Probably the one thing you haven't got though is some time for yourself, some space, some headspace for yourself. So these are my creating space tips. Thanks for listening. So in business, probably 20% of what you do creates 80% of your business. It's, it's, one of those, it's one of those fabulous facts. Jo is a personal stylist and she says the same about clothing, don't you? And that you probably mm. wear 20% of your wardrobe 80% of the time. So it's really important to figure out what that 20% is, <laughs> if it's bringing in money. And then to focus on allocating the time to do it. Figuring out what your, you know, kind of your key performance indicators are. So, uh, it's a nice business term here. But this is a great story about Bob Ayling, who uh, used to be the CEO of British Airways, and he only had ever had one question that he would ask the rest of his the rest of his team about how the business was doing, which was, how long are my planes on the ground? Everything else was pretty irrelevant. Because if he knew that it was too long, then he knew that the business was not running efficiently. And if he knew that the figures were low, then he knew that there were people in the air, people getting from A to B, happy customers, money coming in. If the, if the planes were on the ground, there were fees, there were unhappy customers. It was just a very, very simple question. So it's really important that you figure out in your business those very simple, with hindsight, simple elements and make sure that you find the time to do them. They could be as simple as networking. Or they could be as simple as sending out a specific um, newsletter or an, or an email. So figure out what those are. But they also exist in the home. You know, we do have these daily habits that just kind of sink away the brushing the teeth and the washing the face every day that you, don't, you just don't think about anymore. But there are some tasks in the home that just kind of have a tendency to build up. I spoke to one woman about coming on this, on this talk and she said, you're going to have to help me with my post problem. <laughs> I was like, okay. okay. And she said, she said I, just, I hate the post. I hate opening the post. She said, and at the end of the week, I've just, or the end of the month even, I've just got this pile of letters and I, I can't cope with it and, it really, and it's really freaking me out. And it's because the daily habits of just opening the letter has gone for her. And it's just finding out that although a big chunk of time to get lots done works really well, so do small daily habits. Those are the things that will build up over time. So understand, you know, things like you're talking about tidying up in the house. You know, some, some families leave the tidy up until the weekend. And then there are massive arguments about it. And it's also complicated and your fault and blah, blah, blah. As opposed to just thinking, you know, it takes, it takes 10 minutes just, just to sweep it all, uh, you know, under the bed. <laughs>